Hey boys and girls, Squee913 here. How's it going? Uh, I hope everyone is doing well, because I certainly am. You are fantastical. Okay, um, I've had several questions uh, on regarding how I do my Let's Plays, how I record them, edit them, upload them, all that fancy schnazzy stuff, and I had told them that I would do a tutorial video. I'm sure that almost every Let's Player gets to a point where they do one of these, and, well, I'm doing mine, because uh, I've had people request. So... Uh, since I actually had to make an intro for Mass Effect 2 with friends that we're starting next week, I figured I would actually do a step-by-step -step process to show you not only how I do the Let's Plays, but how I do my intros, which are much more complicated. Um, uh, so, why don't we get started? First and foremost, I use a program called Fraps. Now, Fraps, um, you generally... It's the best recording software for uh, video games that I've ever found. Uh, I'm not using Fraps right now, I'm using Camp Studio because Fraps only records in files, like in executable files, like a video game or Windows Media Player or something like that. Uh, or YouTube, actually, I use it to pull down videos from YouTube all the time. But uh, it won't record your desktop like what you're seeing right now. So I'm using Camp Studio for that, which I've never used before, so I'm still kind of figuring out the ropes for that, so you have to forgive me if I'm kind of noobish at it. Um, anyway, so Fraps. Here you got Fraps. You have uh, several tabs. You have uh, your benchmarking, which I don't know what any of this means, so I just completely gloss over it. <laughs> the only thing I do know is that uh, when you're in Fraps, it displays little yellow numbers that look just like this, and that's your frame rate, and this is, tells you where on the screen it will show it, or if it shows it at all. This is what I mostly deal with. This is uh, where the files are going to be saved to when you're recording, and you can change it. Where you can view it. Uh, this is what button you hit to start and stop recording. Now, I used to, I think the default's like F9 or something, but you can switch it to whatever you want. Now, Variax gave me this brilliant solution um, because games use different buttons, so depending on what game I was using, I'd have to change what key I was hitting. But Variax told me scroll lock. Scroll lock is used for nothing. Nothing! It's on that keyboard for the sole purpose of you to use fraps to record. That's my belief. Um, so I use scroll lock. That way I'm rest assured that no video game is going to conflict with it. I have it on about 30 frames per second of capture settings because that lowers the file sizes and it still gets you really good quality. I don't really see a reason to go above that, but that's kind of a personal preference. And I record on full size instead of half size because half size is really small. Now, as far as audio, getting your audio to work, uh, if you're having trouble getting your audio to work and all that stuff, there are tons of videos that will show you how to get it done because it's different for each operating system. So I'm not going to go into it. Just search YouTube, you know, record audio and video in Fraps with Windows blah, blah, blah. And trust me, you'll find it. Um, don't sync audio video. Don't know what that is. Don't ever use it. Hide mouse cursor in video. Don't do that. Um, I mean, you can if you want, but I don't. And then force lossless RGB, RGB capture. This makes the quality a little better, but it also makes it slower and much bigger. So I generally don't use it. Um, and that's pretty much it. Now you have screenshots too. You can capture screenshots. It's very straightforward. You can mess with that if you want. Now Fraps is not a free program. They have a free trial that records only 30 second intervals, which would be really annoying if you're trying to do a Let's Play. Um, so you might have to shell out the money to actually buy it. You can buy it online. I forget how much it is, but unless you're good at acquiring it through alternative means, which I am not. <laughs> so um, we'll go ahead and put that down there as I take a drink. Now, I'm making an introduction for uh, Mass Effect 2 with friends, which is basically a short music video, which is similar to a Let's Play, but different in the sense that you have to edit a lot more. Uh, hang on a second, let me go ahead and end this video here, because I don't know how long I can record with Camp Studio before it decides to cut out on me, so uh, I'll be right back. Well, crap in a handbasket, I just completely lost what I was trying to record. I lost part two because Cam Studio does not like me. So let's try and do this again and I'll have to remember to keep my files smaller for some reason. So where was I when I first started trying to record this? Um, oh yes, I was talking about Fraps. Now let's show you how Fraps works. Um, first let's open up a game. Let's move it so that you can see it. Pretty sure you can see that. Now you'll notice those yellow numbers up at the top left corner. This means Fraps is working and it's ready to record. Now, I'm in the game, you can go to the menu, you can do everything you do in the game, that number should always be there, unless you turned it off, which I personally keep it on, because um, that way, in case Fraps freezes or stops recording for whatever reason, I know. Um, because, once you hit scroll lock, 
or whatever button you use to start recording, it turns red. See, now it's recording. It's recording what I say. It's recording what the game does. It's recording everything. Uh, and if it freezes or stops recording or you press the stop recording button for whatever reason, it turns back yellow like that. So you know, oh, hey, for some reason, Fraps hiccuped and it's not recording anymore. Um, so I keep it on. Uh, so basically, you just uh, you start recording. You play your game however long you're going to play it. And then when you're done, you stop recording. Um, and you can always check your file. Now... I cannot stress this enough, everybody, always, always test before you start recording. Test to make sure your sound levels are right. Test to make sure it actually is recording the way it's supposed to be recording. You do not want to record an hour session and realize that none of it captured, or there was no audio, or the game was too loud and they couldn't hear your voice. Every time you sit down to record Let's Play, check it. It only takes a second, and it will save you a world of hurt. Um, so, let's say, for example... Let's go test. I can just go ahead and exit this, but you wouldn't. But anyway, you, basically, I just alt-tab. I'll record a couple seconds. I'll alt-tab out of it. I'll go to where it recorded, and I will play it. It turns red. See? Now it's recording. It's recording what I say. It's recording what the game does. It's recording everything. See? Works perfectly. Now you know you can play the game with no problems. Um, you'll notice, also, that the numbers up here are gone. They're not shown. 90% of the games will not show these numbers in the final video. Some do for some reason, I don't know why, like Baldur's Gate 2, the numbers are constantly up there, but you know, what are you going to do? So uh, yeah, so that's how you use Fraps, you record, simple, easy, easy peasy. Now uh, you'll notice that Fraps, I can just go ahead and delete this, I don't need it, Fraps records things in breaks. In other words, uh, it records very large files because it's not compressing them. The reason why Fraps is such a good quality recorder is because it doesn't compress the video while it records, which lets your game run at a constant rate. It doesn't take up the processing power. All you basically need to know is that Fraps records very, very large files. Look at this. It's 6 minutes and 12 seconds, and it's 3.9 gigabytes, almost 4 gigs. That's gigs, GB. Um, and what it does is it'll hit 3.9 gigabytes and then split into another file. And then that file will be 3.9 gigabytes. And then it'll split into another file. That file will be 3.9 gigabytes. And the time varies. This is 626 minutes. This is 548, uh, five, wow, 5 minutes and 48 seconds. So you can see that you're going to need a lot of space in order to record something. For like a 15 minute episode, you're going to need, what, at least, uh, what is this? This is about 12 gigabytes for a 15 minute episode. And that's pretty good. A lot of games are less than that. So if you're going to record like an hour of fraps, you're going to need about... 80 gigs or more of free space. Um, you won't need it permanently because we'll get that to that in a second. So uh, no one wants to try and upload uh, a six minute 3.9 gigabyte file to, up, uh, to YouTube. So what you have to do is you have to combine them together, which is where your video editor comes in. And I will talk about that in the next part that I'm, well, it won't be a next part for you because I'm just going to connect this all together anyway. So I will see you in just one second. As soon as I figure out how to Stop recording. Not like that. Okay, um, I just realized that uh, Cam Studio does not record Windows Media Player. All you guys saw was a black screen. But uh, trust me, it was there, it was working fine. Cam Studio just wasn't recording the audio video from the Windows Media Player window. I also just tested uh, the uh, window over here in Windows Movie Maker, it will not record that either, which will make things a little weird for you, but you'll still be able to get the concept down. Um, <clears throat> just trust me when I tell you that there w it was recording properly, and when I said, hey, there's no number up here, that's because there was no number up there, it was just the video. So just go with me on that, all right? So next, um, now you have all your files, and now you need to go piece them together and compress them and make them smaller, because like I said, no one wants to upload a 20 gigabyte file to YouTube. Um, now, I'm not just doing a Let's Play, I'm doing a music video, so things are a little more complicated, but this is what I use. I use Windows Movie Maker. Uh, why? Because it is free and easy. Um, um, if you already have something like Sony Vegas or Adobe Premiere, use that. It's much better. But if you don't, you don't have the cash, Windows Movie Maker does the job, especially if you're just doing Let's Plays. It's a little more restrictive if you're trying to do a music video or something, but it gets the job done. Um... And so, but here's what I use to compress and edit everything together. Now, uh, normally, if you're just doing a Let's Play, okay, normally, 
it shows this screen when you open it. This is uh, all the little windows, and basically what you'll do is you'll take, uh, you know, all the fraps that you recorded. And let's pretend these are the fraps I recorded, and you put that there, import it, and then you drag it down here. Then you do the next file. You import it, and then you drag it down to here. The next file, you import it, and then you drag it down to here. See? And then these will all play continuously like it's just one continuous video. So you make sure that you put them in the right order. Fraps always records them in the right order. Just keep that same order. Put them in here, put them down there. Uh, I think Windows Live works a little differently. I think you just have to drag it to the window and it'll automatically place them. But like I said, I'm not as familiar with that one. Um, <clears throat> uh, do, 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 do. So yeah, and then for a Let's Play, that's pretty much all you do. You, you drag them in here, you connect them like that. You make sure it was the proper order, and then you hit uh, save to my computer, which we'll get to next. But since I'm doing a music video, things are more complicated. Um, now, I uh, I am making a music video in order to, or an introduction, and in order to make that, you need music, obviously. I am using uh, Mass Effect 2, obviously, because it's for Mass Effect 2, end run. Huh? Huh? Epic? Epic? Alright, now, I'm obviously, obviously not going to use the whole song, because the whole song is like 3 minutes and 50-something seconds. 3 minutes and 45 seconds. So here's what you do. Uh, instead of this window, you click over to the timeline, and the timeline has an audio music track. Now, once again, Windows Live, I don't know how that works, but uh, I don't use Windows Live, so I'm sure it will be easy enough to figure out. And then you drag this down to the audio section, not the video, the audio section. And then you'll see it down here. You'll see... Uh, make this a little bigger. No, let's make this part a little bigger. See? Uh, you'll see the sound waves and everything. And then what you do is you just go to where you want to cut it. And then uh, let's say you want to cut here. And then you want to go from here to here. Well, there's a little button right here that says cut. Or, yeah, split the clip into two. You press that and it makes it two separate clips. And you can move them however you want. Or you can delete this. And then you go here. And you do it. And then you delete that and then you only have this part so that's how you and this works for video as well this is how you crop video and audio and get exactly what you want and I will be showing you that uh, extensively for uh, the introduction now um, and then it'll just play this part see and then it's done um, easy peasy so I've already done that over here the section of the uh, video or music I want oh wow that's loud it's very, very loud. Uh, there we go. Um, so yeah, epic. Um, the section I'm using is about a minute and 20 seconds long. A bit long for an intro, but I can't help myself. It was perfect music. Um, so, now you gotta add the video to it. Like I said, in a Let's Play, you're just gonna drag and drop. You're not even gonna have an audio file, because your audio is already gonna be recorded on the Let's Play, unless you record your audio separately, which is possible. Um, some people use Audacity or something to record their audio either post-production or during. It's up to you. I just use Fraps to record it all, so it's all in one package. All right, and then let me uh, stop this and restart it. I'll be right back. Okay, now um, let me do this real quick. For the people who are just interested in Let's Play, so you can just go ahead and stop watching now. Um, let's say you drag and dropped all your video here. Uh, it looks like this on the timeline uh, instead of... Uh, watch, let me show you. If you're on the timeline, it looks like this. If you are in the sc scene screen, it looks like this. You just drag and drop. If you need to edit something for whatever reason, you go to the timeline. Anyway, after you have drag and dropped everything uh, and you're good to go, you go down to save to my computer. You click on that and then you type the movie, you type where you want it saved to, you click next. Now, for this one, I always choose best quality for playback on my computer, uh, which will... Um, make it the best that my computer can play it back. Now, uh, Windows Live has different options. It's up here somewhere, and it's like you can do 1080p, 720p, 420, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I don't do high definition. Why? Mostly time constraints. Um, first of all, the files are much bigger, uh, which isn't a problem space-wise, but I have enough difficulty uploading the file sizes I have to YouTube. If I were to try and upload high definition files, it would take me half my life. To upload files so I don't do it um, and I'm sorry for everyone out there who wants high definition <sighs> sorry <laughs> if you two uh, no, if I ever get faster internet maybe maybe I'll consider it but uh, for the time being no 
So, um, yeah, so for anyone who's just doing the Let's Play, that's it. You, you, you record it with the fraps, you put it in here, you put it together, you compress it. Now, be aware compressing takes time. Generally speaking, expect it to take two to three times what the length of the video is. Now, it's not always true, um, and I don't know why it's some way for other, some and not for others. Like, for example, my, uh, Baldur's Gate 2, which is like a ten-year-old game, it takes, uh, about two to one. In other words, if it's a 20 minute video, it takes about 40 minutes to fr uh, to render it. But Fallout New Vegas, which is a new game, it actually takes less time to render than the video length of the video. So if it's like a 15 minute video, it takes like 12 minutes to render. Don't ask me why, I have no idea. Um, Mass Effect actually takes about three times the length of the video. So if it's a 15 minute video, it takes about 45 minutes. Just be aware, it will take time. Go make yourself a sandwich, uh, go pet a cat, do something. Just put it in the background and come back to it when it's done um so and then you're done and then you upload to youtube which i will uh, cover later um actually i won't be able to do it on this computer because i'm not connected to the internet right now but youtube is very very simple to upload you go to youtube you go to your account there's an upload button there's a button that says what file do you want to upload you choose the file it starts uploading it and you name it and put a description simple so now, for everyone who wants to make a music video, things get a little bit more complicated. Why? Because you have to edit it to the music. Uh, you have time constraints. You have to put things in a certain order. Like, for example, uh, I am doing uh, an intro, as I already said, and what I'm doing is, um, yeah, let's uh, let's make this a little smaller. You can't see the window anyway, so. Um, I have to put it to the music. I have to make it match the music, and uh, I have to do a time constraint. Like, for example, um, I think after about 20 seconds, okay, the first 20 seconds, it's kind of a build-up. Yeah? And then after 20 seconds or so, wait for it. Right? Okay, now, so what I'm doing is during that build-up time, I'm going to be showing all the characters. And then after that build-up time, I'm going to be showing all the action scenes. Why? Because that's what I do. Um, so I have to get all the characters' video clips in before that time period, uh, which means it's going to take some editing, some work. So, and I'm not going to show you all of it because it's going to take me like 40 minutes to do it all. But like, let's say I'm going to drag Jacob down. I'm going to put Miranda. Like that I know you can't see it over here uh, because once again it doesn't record it, but that's okay. You don't need to see that. You need to see this. This is what you need to see. Now I think the Jacob clip is too long. Now. If you're going to make a music video an introduction, please, dear God, make a song that you can stand. Pick a song you can stand, because you're going to hear it a lot. You're going to play it again and again and again and again and again while you try and sync things up. Like the Bed Intruder song, the climbing in your windows, snapping your children up. When I put that to Conrad Werner, that song is now ingrained into my very soul, because I had to listen to it like 50 times. So, just a word of warning. Don't pick a song you don't like. Trust me. So, I think Jacob... It's too long, so I'm going to cut Jacob to about there. See, I just hit the cut key, then I'm going to delete, and it automatically moves Miranda's clip back. It always butts them up against each other, which is great, really convenient. Audio does not do that. You have to manually do that for audio, because sometimes you may want audio here, but not right here, but right here. So it doesn't do that. Video, though, it always uh, butts it up together. I also think Miranda's a little too long, so we're going to clip and delete. Alright, now, another thing you need to do, since this is a music video, I don't want to hear what's on the actual video clip. There's two ways to go about this, and the way I'm going to do right here, um, hang on. There is, if you want to mute an individual clip, you go to Clip, Audio, Mute. You can also fade in, fade out, and change the volume on it. Um, however, since I don't want to show any of the clips at all, uh, the video, uh, the audio on any of the clips at all, I'm going to just go over here, there's a little, uh, volume control thing here and this is audio from video audio from music and you can slide it so this would make audio from the video louder and the music softer music louder video softer I'm gonna slide it all the way over to audio so that basically all the clips video clips are gonna be muted see easy peasy now it is just a simple matter of adding your videos editing them to the length you want like for example this oh, you can't see so I don't even need to describe that but basically you put in the clips you got you edit them exactly the way you want them 
uh, and then you put in the next clip and you keep doing it and you test it constantly to make sure that it's syncing up that's the way you want it it's the right length blah 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 and then you just keep going down the line until you come out with an actual uh, music video and uh, I'm not gonna show you all that I'm just gonna skip ahead all right to the end so I will be back okay so I have completed the video for the most part I've, I've done finished editing it uh, I put all the clips that I wanted in there. You can see there's quite a bit of clips and a lot of editing I had to do. Uh, of course, I've zoomed out a little bit. Uh, this little button right here zooms in. Uh, supposedly. There we go. Uh, oh, God. I gotta wait for the hourglass. I hate you, hourglass. Um, there is a trick. A uh, couple of things that, that I should mention. Like, for example, if you go to edit movie, uh, you can add titles and things like that to it. Um you know, basically text over a certain clip, things like that. Also, um, Windows Movie Maker only allows for one audio track. Um, see, look, here's my little title for the very end. It says, With Friends, um, because it's Mass Effect 2 with friends. No, but uh, if you press the, you know, you can zoom in, you can zoom out to do, you know, special uh, detail editing and all that stuff. Um, uh, well, like I said, they only allow one soundtrack, so let's say you wanted to do a song and you wanted to add speech to your video. Well, you can't do that naturally, normally, <laughs> naturally. Uh, normally, what you would have to do, and there's a trick to it, you put, for example, you put your music, let's say I wanted to add someone talking over all of this, which I don't, but it, let's say I did, then I would render all of this, and then I would take that rendered file, put it back in here, pop it on the video slot, then I would take the extra dialogue or whatever and put that in the audio slot and then I re-render it. You can do it that way. It's a bit tedious, but like I said, the program's free and it has its limitations. So if that's something you want to do, you can do it that way. So we're done. I have everything set the way I want to. So now I go to save computer. Save to my computer. I'll do ME2 intro. All right. I already have that name. ME2 intro. I had to... Uh, Two. Let's do that. I had to um, re-render this to fix some stuff, so I rendered it the first time. It didn't work out. And then, of course, you choose best quality for your uh, computer. Now, you have more choices if you want to fit a certain megabyte size, if you want to do certain other things. Uh, once again, I'm not quite sure how Windows Live works, but uh, uh, Windows Live is just uh, pretty simple. You just, uh, you know, I believe it's just you have the option of high definition, 720p or you know 1080p 720p 420p less than that uh you could upload it directly to youtube but i don't know what quality that is so like i said i'm not too familiar with that and then you just uh wait for it to render which this should render pretty quickly because i've already rendered it once no wait no i have not uh ah crud all right so it'll take about like eight nine minutes i should have put another video file in there, but I guess it doesn't really make a difference, does it? Um, so about six minutes, five minutes to render, but see this because it's a music video and it's not very big. Uh, normally, you know, your Let's Play is coming, come on, it's like a, what, a minute and 20 seconds long. Uh, so that won't take too long to render. And like I said, even though it's only a minute and 20 seconds long, it's still going to take four minutes to render, so that's like, what, uh, over three times as long as the length of the video. So that's something you're going to have to get used to. Alright, and like I said, as far as uploading goes, you just go to YouTube, you sign into your account, you click the upload button next to the search bar, it'll take you to a page with a big button that says upload. You press that, you choose the file you want to upload, you name it, you put the description in there, you put the tags in there, and the tag is what uh, people can search for. Normally I just put let's play whatever game it is. Um, and then you hit save, and then you just wait for it to upload. And then uh, of course you can move it to your playlist and all that. Um, if you guys ever want a tutorial on managing your YouTube page, I guess I could do that, but until someone requests it, I'm not going to waste the time with it. So, um, you render this, and it'll pop it on your computer, and then you will get, uh, hang on, let me stop this. You will basically have an end product that looks something like this.
And that's pretty much it, folks. Um, I'm sorry, I know this has been kind of a long video, but I wanted to give you guys a very detailed look, and of course you can skip to whatever parts you want, uh, because I'm just like that. So, if you have any questions that I didn't answer, or anything that comes up while you're trying to Let's Play on your own, ask me. I will try and help, if I can. Um, but I really encourage people to try it. Uh, one more thing I should mention, if you don't have the money to get fraps, you can't get fraps, Cam Studio, right here, is free. And it's not the best quality, and you, but if you're just looking to dabble your toes in it, uh, you know, in the pool, so to speak, and give it a look-see and see if it's something you want to do, Cam Studio should work fairly well. Um, you have some problems with it, but a lot of Let's Players started off using it, and it does record fairly well. But if you're looking into doing Let's Playing seriously, you should look into getting fraps. All right. So, everyone, uh, take care, and like I said, if you have any questions, comments, anything like that, just ask me, and I will uh, see what I can do to help you. All right, everyone? Ciao!